This video presents our work on human-inspired robotic grass control with tactile sensing. This is work done by the University of Pennsylvania Grass Labs Haptics Group and Willow Garage. Our research focused on using tactile sensing to estimate the grip force necessary to lift up and hold on to unknown objects while not crushing or dropping them. We integrated this research with autonomous pick-and-place code for the Willow Garage PR2. The robot is capable of segmenting out objects on a table, using the grasp it library to compute grasps, motion planning to its target goal while avoiding collisions with the world, and moving the object to the other side of the table, all without human intervention. The robot picks up the object located closest to its base using the nearest arm. Previous versions of this code used 100% motor effort to hold on to objects, but for most objects encountered in daily life, the gripper is much too strong and results in a crushed object. Our research uses the hardest detected at impact with the object to estimate how hard to grip when lifting. We then watch the high frequency content at the fingertip contacts during holding for any signs of slippage and increase the grip force when slip occurs. This is all accomplished using a 22 point pressure array mounted on each finger of the gripper. Portions of this video have been sped up four times during the perception phase where the robot must scan the world and decide upon its actions. The robot uses reactive grasping, as presented in some of our previous research, to reorient the graphs based on tactile sensor input and remove any errors due to poor sensing and controls. Once the robot has decided it has found an ideal grasp location, it opens the gripper and closes one final time using our human-inspired tactile sensing algorithms to delicately but firmly manipulate the object. We have developed a method of sensing object contact with the surface during placement by watching the slip signal from the pressure sensors and contact acceleration data from an accelerometer mounted on the PR2 palm. Here the PR2 moves through a predetermined motion path, holding onto the object as hard as necessary to prevent dropping it, and detects the table contact to release the object. Again, you see the robot grasp the milk carton only hard enough to lift and manipulate it and not hard enough to crush it. We have found this placement approach also works equally well when handing off objects to a human in a natural way. The robot only releases when the object is pulled out of its hand.
We also performed several tests to validate the capabilities of our slip metric by adding mass to increase object weight. The exact same controller with no tuning is capable of manipulating heavy objects, such as a full can of soda, or light sensitive objects such as a piece of fruit, a raw egg, or a milk carton. In our research, we ran a study using 50 common household objects with distinctly different properties. The robot is now capable of manipulating even very delicate objects, such as the raw egg seen here. <laughs>